Hi, I'm Colonel Jason Fettig, director of the United States Marine Band, and welcome back as I continue to count down my top 10 personal favorite Sousa marches. Number 8, The Gallant Seventh. This is a military march, if there ever was one. It was composed for the 7th Regiment of the New York National Guard, which traces its service back to the Civil War. The connection with Sousa here was that the 7th Regiment's band conductor, Major Francis Sutherland, was a coronetist in Sousa's band until World War I broke out when he left the band to enlist in the Army. Sousa paid tribute to his friend and this famous regiment with one of his finest marches. The premiere of this march took place at the famed New York Hippodrome in 1922 with both the 7th Regiment Band and the Sousa Band combined on stage. This march has a little bit of everything. It has an unusual form and it's actually a bit longer than a normal Sousa march because the composer adds a bugle call after the trio in place of where the brake strain would normally be introduced. This bugle call feature is one of the hallmarks of some of Sousa's best military themed marches. There are lots of opportunities to create drama in this march with incredibly inventive melodies and many different musical characters. Both the trio and break strain, which eventually does come and it's kind of a surprise when it does, they are both among the most creative Sousa ever composed. This is nearly universally considered one of the March King's best marches. And if it wasn't on my list too, I think I'd get some complaints in the comments. So it made it onto my top 10 list at number eight the gallant seventh.